Hello again guys, it's Swoosh here and welcome to my M3 MacBook Pro unboxing and overview. So the model I went with was the 14 inch space black 1TB 12 core CPU and 18 core GPU giving me more than enough power for everything I have planned for this year. Alright, taking a look at the box it's nothing out of the ordinary when it comes to Apple products. This is however my first MacBook Pro unboxing so I'm excited to see what's in store with this one. Oh, and if you are new to the channel, then please don't hesitate to subscribe for more tech and gaming content. Firstly, we need to remove the strap-like seals from the top and the bottom, flip it over, remove the lid and unwrap this paper-like protective film. Firstly, wow, this is stunning, it really is. As mentioned earlier, I went with the new space black finish and boy did this not disappoint. So Apple went with a finish that features an anodization seal that greatly reduces fingerprints than their previous models, to which I can confirm help out massively as fingerprints seem to dissolve, leaving very minimal prints, if any. So checking out the ports on both sides, we have a HDMI port, USB-C, and also an SD port on one of the sides, followed by a power connector, which is MagSafe, to USB-C, and a jack port. Also in the box comes this black braided power cable matching the MacBook's aesthetic, instruction manual, stickers, and lastly the power plug and power brick for charging on the go. So you might be thinking, what are my first impressions? Well, to begin with, I love the space black finish as it gives off this two-tone look depending on what light source it interacts with. One minute it's black, the next it's like a gunmetal grey, which I really like about this laptop. The screen is impressive with Apple's Liquid Retina XDR display hitting 1600 nits of peak brightness. Throw in ProMotion at 120Hz refresh rate making this screen an absolute joy to use. Colours are rich, vibrant and make a massive difference compared to a generic laptop or monitor. Talking of monitors, I do intend to use this machine in clamshell mode while hooking it up to my LG monitor for more real estate with editing and consuming content. I am however waiting on my laptop stand from a brand called Oakley Wood, so shout out to them as it's probably one of a few that actually look nice within my setup. So guys, what do you think? Does this space black colour pull you in? Let me know in the comments down below. And with that, thank you so much for watching and be sure to get subscribed for more MacBook content and everything tech and gaming related.